Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. Man, am I gonna make a real pig out of myself? Because I'm gonna compare the wild boar or Suis scrofa and the warthog or Hecocoharis africanus. So when he was a young warthog, when I was a young warthog. Very nice. Thanks. Let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the wild boar and the warthog are members of the pig family, or suidae and they both tend to gather in large groups called sounders. And this helps them to keep a better watch for predators. And wild boars and warthogs eat many of the same types of foods. Grasses, herbs, tubers, bulbs, fruit, mushrooms, but wild boars also sometimes eat carrion. And like all other pigs, Probably the greatest joy for a warthog or a wild boar is wallowing in the mud. Whenever they can, a wild boar or a warthog will roll around in the sloppiest, gooeyest mud it can ever find. It acts as both a sunscreen and it helps wash off bits of dead skin and loose hair and it protects them from parasites. Wild boars and warthogs are also equipped with a pair of tusks that protrude from the side of their mouths. And these tusks are primarily used as weapons in fights over mating rights and territories. And both the wild boar and the warthog can be extremely fierce fighters in these fights and they can defend themselves very effectively against predators. Like all other pigs, both warthog piglets and wild boar piglets are born in litters. Warthogs usually have about two to four piglets per litter, but can have up to seven, while wild boars usually have four to eight piglets per litter, but can have up to 13. But in both species, the piglets reach maturity when they're about 18 months old. Now let's talk about the differences. First up, their ranges. Wild boars are actually native across most of Europe, including southern Scandinavia, and much of the southern half of Asia to Japan to Indonesia, also occurring in North Africa. But they have been introduced in places like Australia and North America and South America where they've caused problems for their ecosystems. By contrast, the warthog is native to sub-Saharan Africa. In terms of habitat, wild boars usually live in seasonal forests, while warthogs live on savannas. The wild boar is also much bigger. A fully grown wild boar weighs 45 to 320 kilograms, or 99 to 705 pounds, and are about 105 to 240 centimeters, or 41 to 94 inches long, including the tail, and stand up to 110 centimeters, or 43 inches tall at the shoulder. By contrast, the much smaller warthog is about 46 to 60 inches long, their tail is up to 18 inches long, are 30 inches high to the shoulder, and weigh 130 to 265 pounds. Warthogs also rest in burrows at night, and even though they're extremely good diggers, warthogs actually don't dig their own burrows. Instead, they use fallen termite mounds or abandoned aardvark burrows. On the other hoof, wild boars don't really seem to inhabit burrows. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the wild boar versus the warthog. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. 
you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what's up next, shall we? Ah, well, I'm a little bit on the horns of a dilemma and I'm a little buffaloed for it. Alpha Lion Simba, out.